Today's challenge, a staffy on the rampage. Marley. Marley, nice. Marley. Who eats furniture for breakfast. Marley can eat anything. Even a door frame. That was really too much. Leaving her family with a heartbreaking decision. Things need to change, otherwise we wouldn't have the choice but to give her away. In East London, Hortense and the kids, Aya, 18, and Tyler, 4, are absolute dog lovers. So they took on this force of nature, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier called Marley. Marley is really nice. She's very affectionate. She loves cuddles and kisses. But she makes a lot of trouble. Thanks to Marley's boundless energy, training is a disaster and the entire house is trashed. We have not a dog. We have a beast. She eats everything like a rat, non-stop. She eats anything. Is it true or not? Yeah. But the destruction really kicks off if she's home alone. To date, she's eaten three sofas. Numerous chairs, tables, Tyler's toys, so much damage done. Anything that she can put her mouse on. But the door frame, that was really too much. Molly. Molly's also a nightmare on the lead, chasing anything that moves. It's like a race. She go up, ears back, real. Molly, enough. It's really getting difficult for us. Uh, we cannot even walk Molly outside. It's like she's always on the hunt, you know? She'll just lunge forward and she doesn't stop and she's quite powerful, so it feels like I'm just getting dragged. Molly. Her favorite pastime, stalking the neighborhood's many cats. The second we lose her attention, we're not getting the back. So when she sees those cats, we know there's going to be some trouble. But keeping her at home is only making the problem worse. It's driving us crazy. It's like every single day you come home and things are damaged, things are broken. Unable to take the stress any longer. I don't even know if somebody can do something for that dog. Hortense is fast running out of options. Marley! Things need to change, otherwise we wouldn't have the choice but to give her away. This is really, like, the last chance for Marley. Now, Staffies are a very energetic breed. They love playing games. But if they don't get enough stimulation, they'll find other ways to let off steam, which is exactly what I think Marley's doing. Hi. Though for once, this family home is strangely peaceful. I don't see a dog. No, she's a bit excited, so usually if we get guests, she will stay a bit outside. All right, well, I'm used to that, so why have you called me here? <laughs> <laughs> We've got several issues with Marley. The main one for us would be staying mm. alone at home. That's a big issue. So what does she do? She chews on everything. She would break anything that she can find. Something that has to be seen to be believed. That's Ooh. quite recent. She managed to get the tiles off. Oh, whoops, all right. She's also destroyed two door frames so far. But look at this. Yeah. We usually like try to leave close to nothing down here because she will knock down stuff. We just bought like a new mixer. So she eat the lid, so now mixing with other lid. <laughs> Quite the introduction, Victoria wants to see this infamous pooch for herself. She jumps a lot. She jumps yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. down, she does down. jump a lot. She does jump a lot. Goodness me. Hello. Renowned for their courage and tenacity, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an affectionate dog, much misunderstood. Reaching a height of around 40 centimetres and weight of 38 pounds, Staffies tend to do everything at full throttle. So if they don't get enough outlets for their boundless energy, that's when the problems can begin. Which is why Victoria wants to see Marley's behaviour for herself. 
Wow, that dog can do the staffy jump. Ooh. And Staffies also love Tug. So Tyler's playing with Marley now. But he is very physical with her. Though it's when the family leave Marley on her own that things really get intense. She's going up to the window. She's pacing between the kitchen and the sitting room. Oh, now she's howling now. I don't think this is panic on separation, but she definitely doesn't like being left alone, and so she'll take out that frustration, biting the sofa cushions or the walls, so I can understand how that destruction happens. While leaving Marley at home is risky, taking her out can be even more stressful, especially if she sees a cat or another dog. Marley, gentle. Marley. Marley, nice. Marley. Which is why Hortense and Aya have limited her to short walks. Gentle. And resorted to using a muzzle. Good dog. Aya, I see she's pulling you quite a bit. Yeah. And tell me about the muzzle you have on her. Um, well, we use it because she tries to bite other dogs and cats, so it's more for the safety of other animals. Does she bark at them? She cries, she barks pulling and doing some kinds of jumping, looping. Oh, does she? Does she start flipping? Yeah, she flipped non-stop. I'm going to tell you my worry right now. That muzzle, and I totally understand why you use it. However, she cannot pant. Yeah. That's the only way she cools herself down, is by opening her mouth and panting. Though something that's not so easy to change, Marley's love of hunting moggies. Fascinating. Every single house she goes looking for those cats. Until she hits the jackpot. Marley. Marley, come stop. <laughs> Marley. Okay, take her away. Come, come on. Good, you see. <laughs> I see. I see. Unable to curb Marley's behavior full stop, Hortense and Aya are hoping Victoria can perform a minor miracle. You have a dog that is very challenging. First of all, her behavior on separation. She's whimpering, she's whining, and it was like she was going, ah! And then she starts chewing to self-soothe herself. Yeah. The second thing is obviously that walking on the lead. Woo! Yeah. I wouldn't like to think what would happen if she met that cat face to face. Yeah, I think she will bite him. I'm going to be very blunt with you. I can guarantee you it will never stop unless there's more enrichment and exercise for her. Mm -hmm. I can't stop her from chewing a wall. I'm not there 24 seven and neither are you. But I can help her everyday life so she doesn't feel the need to destroy things. There's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> With more exercise a must, the first step... Molly. ..is making life on a lead safer for all concerned. I would like you to be able to get her out on the street without you feeling out of control that she is going to run and get a cat. Well, she looks like she's hunting something. Oh, she absolutely is. You're going against this prey drive. This is genetic. This is instinct. So, first of all, I want her to really build a positive association with her name. And then I'm really going to work with the way you handle her outside. Yeah. So whenever you say, Molly, she goes like this. She pays attention to you. Yeah, what do you want? Exactly. I'm just going to look at her and I'm gonna wait for her to look at me. When she does, I'm going to say yes and give her some food. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. With Marley a fast learner, the next step is adding her name to the queue. Marley. Yes, good girl, you did it. You're so clever. And getting mum to take over. Marley. <laughs> she did. Marley. Yes. Oh. That was beautiful. But the real challenge, how will this energetic Staffy respond once she's out on the street? Easy to do here. 
Yeah, less easy with the cat. To get the daily walk back on track, Victoria's teaching Hortense name recognition. Molly! Yes! And a few other tricks of the trade. Well done. Yes! I keep everything very upbeat. Molly! Good girl. Awesome. And she's close to me. I give her that feeling of safety. Yeah. If I find it hard to get her attention, Molly! Yes. I'm going to use my next method. Go until so she'll associate that squeak with looking at me too. Okay. All of my training is focused on getting her before she goes. Molly. Thank you. Something you can do if you anticipate a cat. I'm putting myself between the house, the exits, and her. Absolutely not. Yes. With Marley making steady progress. Good girl. Next stop, the street of many cats. Okay, Marley. Oh, oh Marley. Okay, stop. If she's pulling you too much, yeah. stop. Squeak stop. your squeaker. Good. Get your food out for nice. Marley. Put it on the ground. Instead of chasing the cat, she's now seeking. You see? So you're giving her something too. Focus on instead of that. Good, though. You're doing a really good job. But the job. trickiest part is getting Marley's attention before she sees a cat. This, Ma. Stop. Yes. This is going to take a long time. So we're breaking a long habit here. Marley? Yes. Very nice. Ooh. We are so close to the cat house here. But in going against instinct... Marley? Marley? Nah, she's not listening to you. Hortense needs to work even harder to keep Marley's focus. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. You'll get it. She'll get it too. But it's tough. This is going to be very challenging. To succeed, this has to be a daily ritual, with every walk seen as an opportunity to train. Keep working with getting her focus and her attention and it's going to make things a lot easier. It's as much about your energy, your body language, as it is anything else. Very proud of you. Come on. Come on, girl. Let's go. You've done quite good, Marley, huh? You really were good. I'm very impressed. As for the next hurdle, that's Marley's talent for destruction, especially when she's home alone. Yes, she's anxious when you leave, but she also is very frustrated. So much angst and so much frustration. There's nowhere for it to go except your furniture, your walls, your tiles. So I want to give her a toy she can problem solve with. The mistake people make is to only give the dogs toys when they're about to leave. They, they become the triggers for, <gasps> my person's leaving. So I want to give her a toy when she's not in a state of anxiety. With doggy treats hidden inside, Marley has to figure out how to dispense them. Did she get it? Making this a perfect workout for the brain. Did she get one? Good. Yeah, you did it. And in time, it can be used whenever the family goes out. She's getting her frustration out on the toy. That's good. Part of the foundation that will move you forward. But it's not only Marley's mind that needs enrichment. With an endless supply of energy, she needs exercise above and beyond the daily walk. Victoria's solution, agility training. One of the things that I see is really beneficial for dogs that have frustration issues is to give them more outlets. Because she likes to climb things. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, this is sort of perfect. Come on, let's go. Good girl. Woo! Good girl. You're such a good girl. Exercising nice both seat. the body and the mind. Yes, good girl. Agility training will leave Marley with less energy and less frustration to take out on the furniture at home. Uh Yes. What I love about agility, it's actually something you do together. Yeah. 
which is the reason why now you're going to take her over the course that I just did. First up, it's Aya. Keep it slow and stately to begin with. Mother. Keep your hand over the A-frame here. Good, that's it, well done. Beautiful, now give her a treat. Beautiful, take her through the weave pulls. That's it. Well done. Although it's early days... Yay! <laughs> this is an agility dog in the making. Already, Marley's frustrations are melting away. There is nothing better than a staffy smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nothing better. Which should also make this staffy much calmer on the home front. It's good to do it together yeah. as a family. It's a yes. nice activity. Very good. Oh! <laughs> She's smart. Like, why go through a tunnel when you don't need to? This training is going to benefit Marley in so many different ways. It's going to enable her to listen, cuts down the frustration, and gives her the chance to run, get all that energy out. It's a nice activity. It's fun for us, to be honest. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not only for the dog. I like it. While Marley and her family face a long road ahead, Victoria has one other simple technique which could be a game changer. This has so many wonderful applications and it's called social learning. Mm -hmm. You can teach your dog to turn on and off a light, to open a cupboard. Maybe you don't want to teach Marley to do that. <laughs> to do all kinds of things just by doing it yourself. Building on cues Marley already knows. Marley! Like sit. It's a game that uses both her excess physical and mental energy. I'm going to basically teach her that when I sit, she sits. Here we go. Copy me. Sit. Yes. Marley. Copy me. Sit. Yes. Eventually, there's no need to even say the word sit. Marley. Copy me. Yes. Take it away. And it's training the entire family can take part in. Marley, copy me. Yes. Beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. I like it when we find the language of Marley. Yeah. Copy me. Yes. This is constructive play and it's fun. Practice with things she knows and then start introducing things she doesn't. Though for Marley to ultimately become a calmer, happier dog, the key now is consistency. So yes, you have a challenging dog here, but you need to give her outlets like agility. It's like the toys, that she can expend that mental energy. And when you give her enrichment like that, you find that the anxiety and the frustration in other areas of her life start to dissipate. And I will check in on you. <laughs> OK. And you, Miss Marley. But well done. Thank you. Over the next three weeks, the family work hard with Marley. But despite some progress, Hortense is struggling and has come to a difficult decision. We think that she needs more time, attention, and we're not sure that we can give her that. It's a dog who needs to run every day, yeah. to be honest. I think she'd be better with somebody else. I think it's a courageous decision, and I know it's upsetting you a bit, a bit. but you tried. You've given her so much love. We're going to keep trying, and until we find the perfect match for Marley, that Marley loved the person, the person loved Marley and got the time, got the right place for Marley, we will keep Marley and, and do the training, but it's not easy for us at all. She's a cracking dog with the right home, and the outlets for all of that amazing energy. Marley will find her place. As hard as it is for Hortense and the family, I do feel that she's right. Marley will be better in a different home, a home that can give her the attention she needs. She is an amazing dog. And so the future is going to be bright for her with the right family. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.